Jim Brad's got it on video. <laughs> or the pieces afterwards, anyway. Boom! Well, yeah. And then, see, uh, there's a couple of things I need to make. What's this black chamber? That's where the electrolyzer is. Electrolyzer. That's, that's what's actually making mine, the... Mine, mine, oh, that's just, I really that's should just pull black mine pipe. out. I mean, yeah, I should just, take it apart. Is that Schedule 40 or is it Schedule 80? Is that just black Schedule 40? Is that stuff you pipe? get at Home Depot? Oh, it's Home Depot. That's so ABS. it's Schedule 40. Yeah. It's ABS sewer pipe. Yeah. Well, that's easy. Yeah. And see, what <laughs> I get in here, you had to... I've got a one-way valve here. Okay. I've got a one-way valve. So Where do you get the one-way valve at? That was the challenge, is I went everywhere up north. You go to oh, a pet store or something? No, uh-uh. or? I had to order it from a machine place back east. Oh, yeah, you have to get them online, I remember seeing uh-huh. that. Are they a one-way just air valve, or are they a one-way yeah. liquid valve? It's, it's air. air. It's air. So that's it's air, so one once way. you do get liquid in there, you can get a little bit of bleed through. There, I mean, there, there's so many things that need to be done, and, and there's so much with this. That's why I'm you thinking, you know, I just want to go electric. Yeah. I mean, this is great. Well, I'll tell you the direction. The Wait, so what is this lead. again? What is that? This is, is that the, the bubbler? bubbler? It's the bubbler, and see, I don't. And that's just. I, I should. Turn it on and that's just yeah. silicon hose with some PVC ends. All that is is yes. that big, heavy plastic. Uh, and this is gas. I, I use a gas line, but I don't. You don't need it. I mean, they say you you, you should. And technically, okay, let's be safe and say yeah, you should. This is really good. But this is but cool. see, I and should be feeding it right into here into my this, this right, right into the mantle, here. Right, right into the mantle. But I do feed it in over there. And the reason why is in case this baby, when it hits its bubbling, its boiling oh, point, which is where you finally do get controllability, mm-hmm. because that's when it stabilizes into a a, a controllable okay. output. But that's when you should have a switch that flips it over. See, once you get the controllable output, then you can adjust your sensors into that exact flow. But up until that point, it's still in the process of heating the water up. And when we live in temperatures that can be 20 below zero, that sometimes takes a little more time than at other times of the year to heat up to stabilize. Have you run this through the winter? I have. What does it do to the water when it's frozen? It's just well, you can, you I got can tired add what, of popping my plastic bottom out, and I, because that was my safety for a flashback. Yeah. And I had a, I had a, a plastic bottom in it, and it, it would freeze. And I did use vinegar. I tried vinegar. You tried wood alcohol. Um. That's what they're suggesting online right now. In fact, water for gas, they suggest wood alcohol as well. Are they? It's, it's like a ten to ten to one ratio. So it's ten parts of water, one part of wood alcohol. How many amps are you using in your circuit? Um, this, when it's a boiling point, it just depends. It depends on how much um, what is um, potassium hydroxide, hydroxide you put in. I love in. that videoing. And see, <laughs> the others, if I use if I use Good baking information. soda, and I did do yeah. that, um, it has um, the byproducts are not a healthy thing, yeah. and the gases that come off of it, and the same with vinegar. Vinegar was claimed to have been a little better, but they say the potassium hydroxide pretty much is a, a really clean HHO that comes off of it. And so I've just stuck it's with that. It's give you the best uh, amount of gas production for the least current, too. Though. Yeah, and also the plates. Oh, they stay clean. The plates, the amount of plates that you have, just like in a battery, you know how you get... For a lead acid, you've got a 1.5. Oh, right. A, That's correct. Yeah, your chemistry is different. Yes. Your electrochemistry. Yes. And so with that, you also have that playing as a role in this. I mean, there's so many factors. It's like, okay, where am I really headed and where do I want to put all my energy? Yeah. I, I'm just going to go to electric and then get my own power station yeah. with an RV generating system and solar. And I mean, exactly. back this other antiquated, I mean, it, I know it's important. I still want to pursue some of it. The challenge is, is see, you're 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 exploring new technologies, supposedly. It's right. not really new, but it's not off-the-shelf stuff. It's not stuff that's been tried and tested and proven and already works. Right. Electric cars are, and that's and the they reason are. why I went that course is because I know they work. But they're so in the truck? infant stage. Yeah, so oh, in the infant yeah, stage. Yeah, yeah, he's got, got a truck. A pickup truck. It's like, yeah. You did do that. Cool. Yeah. Pickup. Yeah. Well, we've done many, many cars. We've done hundreds. We've done almost 400 cars now. Got a Civic in the garage right now, and they do a lot of VWs as well. Depends on how fast you want to go. Anywhere from 2,500 to 7,000.